All right. Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Well, if you're new, welcome to my channel. And for those who have been with me on my journey, welcome back. Because I have been... I should welcome myself back. I have been dormant for, I think, a month. But with good reason. I have been traveling to quite a few places and therefore that's the reason for the gap you if you go back to the videos you would notice that there are a few weeks that there were gaps so between I think back in February there was a gap back in April there was a gap back in July to August there was also a gap and then December November into December there was another gap and that's because I was traveling out of the country I have been to America and um, Nicaragua yes pure Spanish and I have a lot of experience with other countries different cultures I learned a lot I've been to so many towns in each country I've been to three three country, three cities in Nicaragua San Juan del, San Juan del Sur uh, Masaya, I think, and Managua. That's where the main area is, or the capital of Nicaragua is. And in um, in United States, I went to Florida, Miami Beach, or South Beach. Been to New York, New Jersey, Boston, Delaware, um, Maryland, Baltimore. Washington DC and Maine. Portland, Maine, Bethel, Maine, and Sunday River, Maine. Right. So I've been uh, you know around in, in, in the countries. Uh, recapping from recapping, I guess, for 2017. I have done a lot, I've learned a lot, and I have a lot in store for you. This year, today is the 1st of January 2018 and I hope that you enjoy what I have in store. Now what to expect for this year? I hope that you enjoy what I have. I'll have questions and answers. I'll, have, I'll address some of the issues that people experience I guess while traveling here. And I've also had a number of concerns where people were asking me about safety in Jamaica. I know that's something I really want to address because of the issues that are the what news, what you've heard on the news about Montego Bay. Some people um, have some concerns about Kingston. I live in Kingston currently. And just traveling around on your own, I guess not having a hotel experience, traveling on your own, traveling solo. And experiencing the local side of Jamaica not like the the side that the, the travel channel would introduce you to not the luxury but more of the real Jamaican traveling on the bus the local bus and talking to the coconut man all these things that are very native and local to the country these are the things that I'll be dressing because I have a few experiences with the other side that they portray on, on TV and what you see but I'm I prefer having access or being connected to the culture of the people and how they live their life on a daily basis and I prefer that type of travel and therefore I will be showing you as a local guide that part of Jamaica the part that you don't see on TV so that's what to expect in 2018 for this year I really want to do a lot of collaborations with other people. I have a few people in mind that I think that I would be a good addition to the channel and to provide more value. No, I am not doing this for pay. I don't, there no one paid me for this. I'm just doing it because I really like to travel and I enjoy sharing information. So there's no one paying me. I don't work in the travel industry. I am a freelance website developer and I just do this in my spare time. No one pays me for this. 
all right the next thing that's going to be on the list is culture I want to talk about or tell you about the Jamaican food Jamaican pastries the patty the cocoa bread the greater cake the blue drawers the potato pudding the Christmas cake the sorrel cassava pudding I ate some the other day it was really good um, there's so much that Jamaica has to offer and I mean the cultural things things that we as Jamaicans hardly focus on anymore because we get so Americanized that we forget sometimes about our culture these are things that I'll be stressing I guess and um, focusing on and therefore try to maintain our Jamaican culture I also like to I guess express more about our history and you know pay tribute to those who played a part in getting us to where we are right now like the Bob Marley, Nanny of the Maroons, Sam Sharp, Marcus Garvey, all of those people and I guess pay homage to these people and just a remembrance you know to I guess thank them for what they have done for us and the things that they did to get us here and I also want I really want to go to the carnival the Jamaica carnival I've never been to carnival I'm not really a fan of carnival but I think that is something that you have to experience at least once in a lifetime and I really want to go to carnival and I want to go all out I want a huge costume with the feathers and the the real carnival culture I really want a costume I have to work on that summer body to to get it ready for March I think around Easter time when they have the road march I think it's March 8th March April 8th is the road march and I really want to go to that and also to share the experience so I'll be videoing and you know sharing my experience with you all so I hope that you also enjoy the journey that I'll be carrying you on for this year I hope to also do some collaboration well not collaboration but partnerships with um, companies I when I was coming into Montego Bay a week before last I think or two weeks ago I met two people who were coming from Lithuania and they had already booked their hotel stay but they didn't book like they didn't know how to trans get get from the airport to their location and I was I was very curious as to why they wouldn't find out beforehand how to get around the place if you get what I'm saying I mean when I'm planning my trips I plan my trips to the T I know which train to take I know how many stops the train make I know where to come off I know which left turn to make and I guess some people like to wing it and travel at travel I guess as an adventure and there for just make up things as they go along but I'm not that type of person so when I saw that they wanted they, they first they asked me if I was a local I said yeah I'm a local I'm just coming back from US going back to my con my my home and they said to me um do you know where the I don't remember the name of the hotel you know where the hotel the ex whatever hotel I said well I'm not from Montego Bay but I am assume it's not very far from here so I said to them um, let me find out if there's a taxi service that you could go because normally they would have official taxi service or whatnot so when I went out there in in Montego Bay Airport in the incoming area arrival section there is a section at the as you come out through the, the door that says authorized taxi and I checked to see um, if they were able to bring them to the area and fortunately they were able to bring them to the area but they weren't able to give me a set price so what I'll be doing I'll be going to both airports I'll be going to the one in Montego Bay and the one in National um, in Kingston which is Norman Manley International by the way I am on the road to the airport in Kingston I'm on Palisades Road hence the reason why the, I have a huge, some huge rocks over here that they used to bar off the sea 
from the you know the airport and whatnot so I am in the middle of that section here on the road Palisades Road and I am planning to go to these airports and find out what a transportation like so what I'm planning to do is have that information up on my website which is the attractions that dot com and have it available so that when you're ready to come into the country you know exactly what to do and what to expect so if let's say if you go to Montego Bay you know the taxi companies to look for you have an idea of what the prices will be like and you also have an idea how to get around the area before coming to the country so and also if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me and ask me any question that you want or you you'd like to know about Jamaica I'll be here I mean I'm living here so I must know something or I know someone who knows something and for the what I'm planning to also do is to redesign my website so that it seem more personal so what I'm planning to do is have two sections of my website one section for Jamaicans and one sections for people coming into Jamaica so the section for Jamaicans will have I guess traveling out of the country countries that you you can go without a passport with a passport without a visa um, things that you might need when going into certain countries and you know know how information about traveling outside of Jamaica and then the other section will be for people coming into Jamaica where it will have information about Jamaica so I'm planning to do that and I hope that it helps both Jamaicans and foreigners alike what else do I have on my list I wrote down things here and yeah I think that's pretty much it I want to do a few shout outs to Efe is Efe sorry if I got your name wrong but it's EFE -E. he messaged me on Facebook of maybe a month ago or so and he said that he was in in Ocho Rios and he was traveling around and he wanted to know about places to go to the last time I spoke to him he was in St. Thomas so he's traveling around he told me he went to halfway tree and he went to some other places but I know that he's enjoying himself so shout out to Efe or Efe happy new year and I hope that you are enjoying the country and what we have to offer right so people are asking about safety so having experiences from people from other countries who come into Jamaica would be very good so that they see that these people are traveling by themselves and they're enjoying the culture I mean don't get me wrong there are some visitors who get really bad experience who have really bad experiences but that's a part of travel and I think bad experiences happen in every single country I've had a, t a few here and there I've experienced racism um, prejudice I don't know the whole works I've experienced it I can't say I've experienced it all but I've experienced some enough to say that I've had a big bad experience and I hope that you all whoever I guess come to Jamaica will have some form of experience and will be willing to share with us your story so that we have both good and bad you know so if you have if you know someone or you have a personal story that you think you're willing to share with me please feel free to message me and so that we can have a chat and then share the story with others who are planning to come into the country that is it I am almost near to the area where I started my journey I started my first trip to Port Royal I'm very near to Port Royal at the moment almost a year ago and I hope that everything that I share with you on my channel will offer some value and then you will have a great experience when you come to Jamaica so happy new year guys and I hope that you have Jamaica on your list to do or you have your you have Jamaica on your travel resolution for this year and if you're on your way to Jamaica or you're planning to come to Jamaica feel free to reach out to me and plan 
make sure you give me some some advance a uh, plan in advance or tell me in advance so that I can schedule my time and meet up with you guys whenever you are here in the country so happy new year and see you soon bye